The F-22 Raptor just received upgrades so advanced that military experts around the world are calling it a complete game changer. What started as whispers in defense circles has now become headline news. America's most lethal fighter jet has been transformed into something that's making even our closest allies nervous about what we're capable of. Just three weeks ago, Lockheed Martin announced a quarter billion dollar contract that will fundamentally alter how aerial warfare works. The details that have emerged are staggering. We're talking about technology that can detect threats invisible to every other aircraft on Earth. Systems so sophisticated that pilots describe flying the upgraded F-22 as having superhuman abilities. But here's what's really got everyone's attention. This isn't just about making a good plane better. This is about creating something that operates on a completely different level than anything else in the sky. The numbers alone tell an incredible story. And by the end of this video, you'll understand exactly why military analysts are saying this changes everything. The most shocking part? This is just the beginning. What you're about to learn represents the largest fighter jet upgrade program in American history, with nearly $10 billion being invested to keep the F-22 dominant until 2040. And the capabilities they're adding? Some of them sound like science fiction. If you're as amazed by American military excellence as we are, type yes in the comments below. Let's start with what's happening right now in 2025. Three weeks ago, on January 22nd, Lockheed Martin received a massive $270 million contract from the Air Force. This isn't your typical upgrade. This is about installing something called the Infrared Defensive System, and it's about to make the F-22 nearly unstoppable. Think about how thermal vision works on your home security camera. It can see heat signatures in complete darkness. Now imagine that technology refined to military perfection, miniaturized, and integrated into the most advanced fighter jet ever built. These new sensors can detect enemy aircraft by their heat signatures from distances that would make your head spin. We're talking about the ability to track threats that are trying their hardest to remain hidden. But here's where it gets really interesting. These aren't just sensors bolted onto the outside of the plane. They're what engineers call distributed embedded systems, aren't certain meaning they're built right into the aircraft's structure. The F-22 essentially becomes one giant, incredibly sensitive detection system. Every surface, every angle is working together to create a picture of the battlefield that no pilot has ever had before. The technical term is TASI ARST, Tactical Infrared Search and Track. But what that really means is simple. If there's an enemy aircraft within hundreds of miles, the F-22 will know about it before that aircraft even knows the F-22 exists. It's like having eyes that can see through walls, except those walls are clouds, darkness, and enemy stealth technology. Military experts are calling this a force multiplier, meaning one upgraded F-22 can now do the job that used to require multiple aircraft. That's not just cost-effective, that's strategically brilliant. When you can accomplish more with fewer resources, you're not just winning battles, you're winning wars before they start. Now, you might be wondering, wasn't the F-22 already the most advanced fighter in the world? Absolutely. But here's what makes America's military so formidable. We never stop improving. While other countries are trying to catch up to where we were 10 years ago, we're already building what we'll need 10 years from now. Now, let's address something that's been making headlines in defense circles. Military analysts have been asking a fascinating question. If the F-22 was already so advanced that America wouldn't export it to even our closest allies, how is it possible that it needed upgrading? The answer reveals something profound about American military thinking. The F-22 wasn't upgraded because it was lacking. It was upgraded because America plans to stay decades ahead of any potential threat. This isn't about fixing problems. This is about maintaining absolute dominance. Consider this remarkable fact. The F-22 has been in service for nearly 20 years, and there still isn't another aircraft in the world that can match its original capabilities. Now, with these upgrades, we're essentially starting the clock over again. Other nations will spend the next 20 years trying to build something equivalent to what America just created. That's not accident, that's strategy. American military planners don't just think about winning today's conflicts. 
they think about preventing tomorrow's conflicts by maintaining such overwhelming superiority that potential adversaries don't even consider challenging us. The weapons upgrades tell this story perfectly. The F-22 is receiving integration for the AM-120D-3 missile system, a weapon so advanced that it can defeat enemy countermeasures that don't even exist yet. These missiles can track and eliminate targets at ranges that would have been impossible just a few years ago. But here's the part that's really turning heads in military circles. The F-22 can now carry hypersonic weapons internally. We're talking about the Mako missile system, a weapon that travels at speeds so extreme that enemy defense systems can't react fast enough to stop it. The fact that the F-22 can carry these weapons while maintaining its stealth characteristics? That's a capability no other aircraft in the world possesses. Think about what this means strategically. An enemy might develop radar systems capable of detecting traditional aircraft or missile defense systems capable of intercepting conventional weapons. But how do you defend against an invisible aircraft carrying unstoppable weapons? The answer is simple. You don't. You avoid the conflict entirely. That's the real power of these upgrades. They don't just make the F-22 more capable in combat. They make combat less likely by demonstrating such overwhelming superiority that rational adversaries choose diplomacy instead. Now, let's talk about something that's absolutely crucial but often overlooked, maintenance and reliability. The most advanced weapon in the world is useless if it can't be kept in fighting condition. The F-22 upgrades address this with innovations that are genuinely remarkable. The new systems include what engineers call predictive maintenance. Essentially, the aircraft tells its ground crew what it needs before problems develop. Using data from actual flights, advanced algorithms can predict when components will need replacement or service with incredible accuracy. This means F-22s spend more time in the air and less time in the hangar. For military planners, that's golden. Every hour an aircraft spends in maintenance is an hour it can't perform its mission. These upgrades dramatically improve what's called mission readiness, the percentage of aircraft that are available for combat at any given time. But the real genius is in the simplicity. Despite all this advanced technology, the F-22's engines can still be maintained using just six common tools available at any hardware store. That's intentional design, making sure that advanced capability doesn't require complicated support systems. American military engineers understand something that many others don't. The best technology is technology that works reliably when you need it most. These upgrades don't just add capabilities, they make those capabilities more dependable under real-world conditions. This brings us to something that's causing serious discussion in military planning circles worldwide. The F-22 was originally scheduled to be replaced by the Next Generation Air Dominance Program, essentially a sixth-generation fighter that would make the F-22 look outdated. But something interesting happened. The more military planners studied potential threats and requirements, the more they realized that an upgraded F-22 might be more valuable than an entirely new aircraft. Instead of spending decades and hundreds of billions developing something new, America decided to take the most advanced fighter ever built and make it even better. The result is a decision that shocked military analysts around the world. The F-22 will now serve until 2040, with nearly $10 billion being invested in continuous upgrades. That's not just extending the life of an aircraft. That's committing to maintaining absolute air superiority for the next 15 years. Here's what makes this decision so strategically brilliant. While other nations spend enormous resources trying to develop fighters that might match the original F-22, America is already implementing upgrades that put us decades ahead again. It's like running a race where you keep moving the finish line further away from your competitors. The financial numbers tell an incredible story. This $10 billion investment includes $3.1 billion for research and development and $4.7 billion for actual upgrades and procurement. But here's the perspective that matters. That's less than the cost of developing a single new fighter program. And it maintains American air superiority through 2040. From a taxpayer perspective, that's an incredible return on investment. From a national security perspective, it's genius-level strategic thinking. Let's talk about what pilots are actually experiencing with these upgrades. 
The testimonials from F-22 pilots who've flown the upgraded aircraft are remarkable. One pilot described the difference between the original F-22 and other fighters as like comparing a smartphone to a rotary phone. Then he described the upgraded F-22 as like having artificial intelligence built into that smartphone. The situational awareness these upgrades provide is genuinely transformative. Instead of pilots having to interpret radar screens and sensor data, the upgraded systems present a complete, three-dimensional picture of everything happening within hundreds of miles. Threats are identified, tracked, and prioritized automatically. Flight paths are optimized in real time. Weapon systems are pre-positioned for optimal engagement. It's not just about making decisions faster, it's about making better decisions with more complete information than any pilot has ever had access to before. But here's what's really remarkable. Despite all this automation and artificial intelligence, the pilot remains completely in control. These systems enhance human capability, they don't replace human judgment. That's a crucial distinction that sets American military technology apart from others who might rely too heavily on automation. The integration of all these systems is where the real magic happens. The new infrared sensors don't just work independently. They share information with the radar systems, the electronic warfare suite, the weapon systems, and the flight controls. Everything works together to create what engineers call a system of systems. What does that mean in practice? It means that detecting a threat automatically triggers optimized positioning for engagement. Engaging a threat automatically triggers defensive measures against retaliation. Completing an engagement automatically triggers repositioning for the next threat. It all happens faster than human reflexes could manage, but always under human control. This level of integration represents years of software development and testing. It's not just about individual components working well. It's about creating a whole that's greater than the sum of its parts. Now, let's address something that's been making international headlines. The global reaction to these upgrades. Military analysts from allied nations have been remarkably candid about their assessment. Even countries with advanced military technology acknowledge that these F-22 upgrades represent capabilities they won't be able to match for decades. That's not just American pride talking. That's objective technical assessment. The combination of stealth technology, sensor capability, weapon systems, and integration represents a level of technological sophistication that requires decades of development and hundreds of billions in investment to achieve. For America's allies, this is reassuring news. Knowing that American air power maintains such overwhelming superiority provides stability and confidence in regions around the world. For potential adversaries, it serves as a powerful deterrent against aggressive action. The psychological impact of technological superiority is often underestimated. When potential adversaries know they face overwhelming disadvantage, they're much more likely to choose diplomatic solutions over military confrontation. These F-22 upgrades don't just provide military capability. They help maintain peace through strength. But here's something that's particularly impressive about this entire program. It's not just about the next few years. The upgrade architecture is designed to be continuously improved. New capabilities can be added, existing systems can be enhanced, and emerging threats can be addressed without requiring completely new aircraft. This means that the F-22 of 2030 will be significantly more capable than the F-22 of 2025, which is already more capable than anything else flying. It's a continuous improvement cycle that maintains American superiority indefinitely. The modular design of these upgrades is genuinely innovative. Instead of replacing entire systems, new capabilities can be integrated into existing frameworks. This makes upgrades faster, less expensive, and more reliable than traditional approaches. Military planners love this approach because it provides flexibility. As new threats emerge or new technologies become available, they can be incorporated into the F-22 platform without starting from scratch. That's strategic thinking at its finest. As we look toward 2040, it's clear that these F-22 upgrades represent more than just military technology. They represent American commitment to maintaining peace through strength. The investment being made today ensures that America's sons and daughters in uniform will have every possible advantage if they're ever called upon to defend our nation and our values. 
The men and women who fly these aircraft deserve nothing less than the best technology America can provide. These upgrades ensure that when our pilots face any threat anywhere in the world, they have capabilities that give them every possible advantage. That's not just good military planning. That's our moral obligation to the brave Americans who defend our freedom. The F-22 upgrade program represents the best of American innovation, engineering, and strategic thinking. It demonstrates our commitment to staying ahead of any potential threat while providing our military personnel with the tools they need to succeed in any mission. These upgrades don't just make the F-22 better. They ensure that America maintains the air superiority that has been crucial to our security for decades. In a world where threats continue to evolve, having technology that evolves even faster isn't just advantageous, it's essential. The $10 billion investment in F-22 upgrades will pay dividends in security and stability for decades to come. It represents America at its best, innovative, forward-thinking, and committed to maintaining the peace through technological superiority that makes conflict less likely and victory more certain if conflict becomes unavoidable. Outro CTA If you found this deep dive into American military excellence as fascinating as we did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more insights into the technologies that keep America safe and free.